Hello everybody and of course welcome back to Dickie's videos where no war game remains unplayed. And here we are again with Field of Glory 2 and this tournament overview. So this is my round 3. Uh, this is the Carthaginian versus Roman. An interesting battle awaits. This is of course the rise and fall of Carthage. It's nice to be reviewing about these battles and seeing what we've done and the mistakes we made. So if you've watched, if you've watched the video... You know, the Carthaginian forces brought the cheese out of the Big Mac. They brought the Jammy Dodgers to the field and were victorious. I want to say, of course, before we start, thank you to Living Games, but also to my opponent, uh, who played amazingly. And by the look of how I said to beat the Romans in this game, it's my kingdom, my kingdom for a horse. And that is exactly what we brought. And I think in uh, coming against a... Uh, a Roman force, which Romans are the creme de creme of legions, but uh, under uh, constant cavalry pressure, you can crack them, but not without luck. So, further ado, let's have a look at my um, deployment. Um, as you can see, and and something I've got to say I would raise a big question about is Triarii. They can't fight against big units. Uh, and I've realised they're good at anti-cavalry action, uh, but unfortunately anything that's particularly uh, massed infantry, they do not fare well. So, we'll have a look at the field, we'll have a look at my tactics. So, uh, as you can see, um, there's lots of hills in this game. Uh, I did contemplate going to the left, but I thought the left was, it would be, it's too close. It's a good one, two, three, it's a lot of squares away from my centre point. Um... As you can see, there was a hill directly in front of us, uh, which, to be honest with you, it's, I think it was 100 POA height. Uh, we've hidden uh, Spanish in there. We've hidden, well, not hidden, but deployed cavalry there, but also a big block of cavalry here. Uh, supported by two elephants, uh, my African spearmen, uh, and, of course, my mercenary hoplites on the right. My game is to sit on this hill and say, come on me, bro come me bro because i want him to come forward to attack me on this hill uh because this is where our advantage actually is um towards the uh roman player uh so to swoop around here the cavalry hopefully is just going to bait him out uh, and then hopefully we can push further onto him so we're going to delete that we're going to slip click play uh, and just go through it so we've got to be careful here because of course the roman player is, is just going to walk up to you and smack me in the face like any good roman player do uh you know it's the fact is he uh, he needs to push forward he needs to hit us hard and needs to take uh, us back to north africa where we belong um but it's interesting seeing his deployment when we get to it soon and i think i have played this opponent before um steve i think it was i can't remember but uh he's he played he's played amazingly in this um there's me just jabbering on about something um okay so let's have a quick nosy at the romans um i want i'm not saying he deployed badly he didn't he deployed good but i think i would have particularly done some slightly things different here um and of course when you see my roman gate uh, my roman deployment you see why so trai um back back i would have taken four units of trai spread them left and right anti cavalry tactics against the carthaginian straight away roman cavalry is crap there's not very many units of it i want more i want at least four units of trai deployed on these flanks to doing anti-cavalry and then of course the cavalry units on the left and right to support the cavalry uh, support the chariot so you get the uh, bonus of the and the uh, poa is only control them out on the uh, cavalry front uh, and the infantry and then also you have your front guys or veteran i think he's got a couple units of veterans but yeah just have some italian foot which surprisingly in this game do actually do a lot of stuff uh, and of course He's got a good selection of lights. As you can see, we've got, what's that, four, five, six to his unit's cavalry. So, a com uh, and two elephants on top of that to uh, boot. Uh, so, when you think about it, we are dominating the uh, cavalry battle here. We should be dominating. If we're not dominating the cavalry battle, uh, we're not using our cavalry right. Uh, but, it's got a solid list, but I would have taken a couple more units of TRAI, as much cavalry as I possibly could muster. I don't know if it's two units or... I'm going to have to go back. What, what were we? Five, seven, thirty-five. He could have... Uh, he's took the max cavalry there. He took the max cavalry, so it's not like he didn't. Okay, so we're going to 
jump straight into 10 minutes. So this is where I've deployed more to the right. My Spanish are moving up to the right side. The reason I deployed lights inside of that rough, uh, the, uh, of course, the forest, just in case he ran up there and tried to get in there. Um, but he hid stuff in my t in my game, game playing Romans, which he did very well. Um, it was surprising. So there you go. We're mostly on the hill here, and it is now just me trying to kite units to the left with that most left cavalry unit um, up there, uh, trying to push away. And then, of course, now I, I make a mistake here. Uh, the cavalry in the mid-center here is about to get absolutely hammered due to uh, light fire. As you can see, Javelinos, Javelinos. Oh, they just absolutely hurt that unit. But yeah, it's just, just unlucky. But I, I think retrospectively, um, he, he I don't know if he thought there was something in the left in the woods. Um, of course, there we go. The light attack. I'm trying to get this hill as soon as possible. And of course, the light fight is just getting brutal there. And I feel sometimes the little slight skirmish does, does block a lot of the main combat factors up straight away. And there we go, just most of the, the Romans making light work of the lights. Um, but his cavalry chariot still trying to counter the cavalry on the right side. Um, I think we got a lucky fragment actually on his um, his units there. i got to say, most of this battle did not go my way for a long time. I think it's, you know, I lost the battle in the morning, but then by the evening I won it kind of uh, situation. There's me getting slightly cocky. But the reason I charged there was because if he does charge, um, I will evade away and then run back to my lines. Uh, so the, you're risking it with me, uh, noble cavalry in that respect that you can retreat back. Um, elephants there, ready to go, ready to kick some ass. And you'll see why I get slightly salty when he runs up to my elephant here and goes, throws javelins and it's like, disrupt me, please, already. There you go, trying to make Finney's line down. I can't take the full brunt of his uh, his, his army on my, on my flanks. Um, I've got to say, my African spearman unit in the in the centre where I put my C and C just just holds like a boss. It should have broke when it got in combat, but it just stood there and took them all out. And there we go. Now it's all about positioning. He has the advantage of the troops. I've got to make uh, uh, I've got to make tricksy of all of my army. Um, and I think we're just trying to pick off as much as we can. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm a great bad thing that I actually forget about my lights half of the game. So I think we're just lighting up here. We're gonna just change slightly ahead until we get to some of the action. So there we go. I decided to charge my one of my units, try to flank his thing and to get me into more position on this right. But as you can see, I've moved my Spanish up to the right side to actually support my cavalry um, because the Chiari I cannot deal. And I moved my general into the middle uh, unit of African Spearmen. But unfortunately, my cavalry getting shot up on the mid left. My cavalry on the extreme left just baiting, at least if it baits one unit away or two units, it's done its job. And there's me trying to do some more harassing tactics on that adventure. Um, but there we go. And there we go. We just decide to sit there. We've got that POA advantage of the hill on the corner, which I think it's 100 um, on that point. No, it's 50 on the hill. It's 50 on the first step, 100 at the top. And there we go, we just turn that POA to the thing, and there we go, I'm going to try and start assaulting his cavalry with some uh, uh, reduction in uh, fire. There we go, try again, I'm trying to knock his cavalry down a little bit. Probably ill-effective, really, there, just, but still fantastic. There we go, fragmented cavalry for me, not pretty. Um, there's the charge, oh, which is pretty good. I've got to say, in this battle, his medium foot is just fantastic. His medium foot is just fantastic. It plays very well. There you go. One shot, one volley from the uh, um, javelin disrupting that elephant, which slightly hurt me there. I can't believe it did that. But now the, li the battle lines, of course, formed up. I had to use this hill as a defensive posture. Uh, the fact is, I don't think it would have anything. There we go. Fragment of the lights, three percent each. Now he's supporting his cavalry with a chariot, but also the um, Italian foot. Oh, there we go, slight attack there from the javelin troops and just the hacking away. There we go. I was, I was happy that unit broke. If I think if I could have tried to pull back here a step, I would have. But I think my elephant would have broke. And there we go, managed to retreat that cavalry out of the way because it rallied up from being fragmented. Yeah, there's the charge, which I regret wholeheartedly. But I got pushed back, so it's like, 
F fine, fine, fine. There we go. But still slightly scary here. They, you see what I did there? I moved out the zone of control. Then I was able to get a free move and actually move to the right side. Okay, there you go. All that light fire adds up, adds up, negating that strength of that unit. And it does pay heed further on in the battle that the units are slightly uh, reduced. There we go, Spanish just falling up behind the cavalry, just stretching that line out as much as possible so I can literally cause some havoc. And even if that cavalry unit is baiting one unit away, it's fine. Slightly getting a little bit brave here. Uh, I, I think mistakenly block my general unit in there in that top corner, but it actually pays heed that I actually blocked him in there. So it's interesting watching this back how brave I was as the calf, even being on that hill against, you know, he he's didn't take actually very many veterans. I think he's only took one veteran unit there looking back at this. So there we go. This is the first combat. You see, straight into there uh, and a great advantage. So these guys are at a massive disadvantage. I mean, charging is, um, of course, his um, things there who are greatly disadvantaged, but they fight amazingly throughout this battle and it's not particularly easy uh, fight for us here there we go the elephant squared off that unit of african sperm which to honest with you, on the ground is not fantastically gonna thing and there goes break of course no cohesion, cohesion check for everybody else so we're fine there's the charge and we get a rare attack and i'm like oh thanks very much for that you rare attacked me but yeah, stretching that battle line out, that's the main thing I wanted to do. Did not want to let him consolidate, let him have to have forces that are going to have to face my cavalry down. So I'm still semi-confident here, but at the same time it's getting slightly dubious with the amount of Roman leaders that are about to batter me in the face. That disruption on that elephant was harsh galore. Um, but I feel I'm going to have to engage, sit on them. Disrupted, elephant on elephant. Elephant supported can do well. And this is where I think, oh, bugger. This actually helped me, to be honest, that unit charging forward on that centre line. Because now it's in the middle of nowhere. And I'm thinking, like, well, we've got to go in. Um, but I'm not impact. And I sit there thinking, I'm going to sit there and wait for that elephant to rally. If I thought about it, I would have dropped the general from the other elephant into that other. I don't know if it was in the same battle group, but just dropped him in the same thing. And then I'm thinking, here, I'm going to have to move all of my... Uh, mercenary hoplites off that hill looking to that left that bottom side where that general other, other, other unit is but that cavalry on the rear is still causing problems and here i go this is where i go okay i'm going to try and get through this line uh, and push forward spanish trying to engage the chari and they do advantage them with impact and actually the size of the units you'd be surprised one-on-one -on -one. i'd be surprised in this entire tournament how well spanish um, have actually done and there we go a couple of holes for his line going to start pushing forward start trying to pressure him make mistakes um but he's in, even steven at this moment in time and i'm still not think, uh, thinking about each other. this is where i tried to get smart i tried to engage his cavalry so i can flank um which is not a stupid thing to do i'm trying to do it but yeah that that unit is in some bother but it's just it just holds on like a boss it just holds on it just takes it gives these Roman I've got I've got a slight hill advantage. Let's just hold the line. But pretty pretty brutal we are what? Seven turns in and the battle is like majorly on. I'm sitting there going you know, oof, Romans are good. Romans are Romans are just solid. Solid in general. And I like that because they're always a formidable faction. But like I said, even the most I mean the issue is they they they've got to bring Italian foot to attack them uh attack the um rough terrain and that cavalry unit on the south actually now i'm going to hopefully move it around to actually go towards the other line which is unprotected because i can, i've got i've got i'm slightly better now on the southern position rather than the northern position of his troops there we go he fragments me with that little sneak attack i did there it was sneaky there's the chari eye doing that but giving me enough turn to move away this general, that general is holding like a beast. Look at him hold it. You see, even though I'll pause this right now, we're about halfway through the battle. I am actually just holding up 
two of these units that is holding in reserve and that may sound very insignificant to people watching this but two units three units hold it up adds up keeping your opponent honest Keep him realizing you've got some. You've got more troops that can cause some issues. You've got to make make him paranoid <laughs> in respect that you're going to do something amazing. Um, but he, he still played him. He's still scaring me crap here. This 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 not going to go that. You know this makes up for my round two blunder. But there we go, hacking away. This is where I felt confident that now he's charged that unit. Now I'm thinking I can push around. But I do something really sneaky here. This is what I do. So I'm thinking I need that flank. I need to disrupt that star type principles down to at least disrupt it to have any chance in actually winning. Uh, because, like I said, the, the unfortunately, the, the, the mercenary hoplites are good. But not fantastic against all these guys. So we've got to change up that POA advantage. And there we go. Hacking. It's a mess at that top at the moment. Absolutely a mess. But that mess pays off. And this is what I do. I feel like really like cheesy. It kind of paid well. They didn't. I think it would have been completely different if uh, the light troops actually disordered. So you look at this. Uh, we actually slight advantage them to our units. And there we go. We actually try and be smart here. Because I've got cavalry not on the left, but I shouldn't have charged these uh, lights. Because I'm trying to capture his his cavalry here and be smart, but it's not slightly working. There we go. I think oh, I've got to get them out of dodge. So here is where I do something sneaky. So I'm thinking I I've got to keep them that unit of uh, Italian foot away, and the only way I can keep them away is just to engage these here, and hopefully they don't flee, and then let him come forward. Because if he moves here, he blocks my counter actually i don't think he does even that i don't think he maybe even had movement for it but even then i didn't want him to actually push that position to do anything particularly uh, nasty towards me there we go we actually got a lucky disruption on that left side as well so and then the elephants just stamping on romans left right and center which just sold but one thing i did miss there and my fault for being mighty zealous that cavalry unit is slightly disordered due to my elephant that is purely my fault um that was because i was overconfident uh and i was just charging through you see the problem is but i can't skip it because there was so much interesting stuff happening through it and why i did that so we might have to go and watch 15 minutes of it 18 minutes of it 28 minutes of it but we might have to skip over this a little bit because it's got to get gets crazy crazy so quickly we'll do the we'll find the parts you see this is where i decide that i'm gonna have to charge in because my unit of Ita um african swimmer is gonna break you see his italian foot just hold the line so well here but that unit there just with my sub generally and just go and bring it bring it back just hacking away and i'm thinking i'm gonna do it i'm gonna leroy jenkins literally i lose but at least he's not hopefully gonna then pour through that flank he's kept in check he's kept in check here and we're getting it i think we only get some disordered of the of the african spearman there so i'm um, semi happy with that like i said every game of field of glory has acceptable losses but uh, most of the time you don't want to lose anything So if we, are we going to shoot? He's in zone of control. He's unfortunately very stuck. I'm going to punish the Chari. Uh, we're just going to try and charge, which just epically fails. I should have tried. And then that cavalry unit finally comes back. Kiting units. Magic thing. Just kite units away. There we go. That flank is all set up in the southern position now after them lights are engaged. That's where I'm thinking. Nipping at his buds. Got the cavalry advantage. Take the cavalry advantage. It's, it's, it's like my old saying. Cavalry and, cavalry and lights. Avoid the pikes. Even though I didn't do that. I did. I just got bullied. <laughs> But but it was all. Uh, mostly my cavalry did most of the disrupting here. And then the infantry just tried to wear them down. There we go, fragmented, starting to wheel, really cut me down here. Um, but brutal opponent, brutal. There we go, them lights blocking that Italian foot in. But like I said, his Italian foot actually uh, 
does pretty well in this game. I think there's only a couple of errors I make that make an issue. Disrupted cavalry. There we go. It's fall back, which was what I was expecting. The um, it has Spanish doing very well against the TRAI. There we go. The lights on the left just hacking away. Elephant stamping. Mr. Dumbo doing his best, but superior, above average. They just love in it. They don't care about their bloody cohesion checks. They're not going to get disrupted. There we go. This is this this is the first kind of proper real thing I did in this game, just disrupting that unit and thinking, yep, that's fine by me, fine by me. You'd be disrupted, and then my cavalry now just uh, I, I decided to charge the Chirai unit to give the Spanish a slight thing because he can't see me next to that cavalry unit, and we're going to engage there. So yeah, still particularly happy. There we go, wearing them down. I'm like, ooh, he's blocking the zone of control there, unfortunately. And I think here, oh, I'm going to go and charge your cavalry. See if I can keep you in place. And there we go, we do. And we're like, yes, please. Flanks, flanks, flanks. What we like. And I'm thinking here, oh, I need to charge. But then we literally detour. But get a rare attack on there. So currently now we've got all that cavalry everywhere. And I mean, to be honest with you, it's the one thing I didn't let him do in his turn on Carthage. There we go. The fallback, unfortunately, is the fact as soon as that cavalry gets anywhere near your La Derriere, you're in some bugger... This Italian fort, just loving it. Absolute loving life. I can't break them. I can't break these Romans. Because they're just... Like, this is the thing. I'm, I'm starting to panic now because it's getting to a point in the battle where, like, it's about to tip in somebody's advantage. And it's tipping in advantage, you know, but I'd like to think I've got a lot of... Um, but an amazing hold there by the Chariai. But still holding my ground. The cavalry doing the work, though, unfortunately. Just the infantry is just a uh, a buffer for a couple of turns. And I'm thinking here, oh, bugger it. There's no point going for there. Um, even though with the extra cohesion checks, the medium foot taken, it's still not great. So there we go. I think I'm in a particularly happy position. Oh, excuse me. And there we go. The fragmented unit, particularly poor showing on my light combat. But mostly the combats on that bottom of that hill have paid off um severely happy with that outcome here come on step on the romans but nope hold firm elephanti so as he mentioned in that comment that, that spearman unit is either broke this turn but it's literally just holding off like a boss look how long they lasted love it it just really annoyed him but that holded up three key units in that battle that may look like an insignificant battle he macking away and the best thing about that when that unit explodes it doesn't take anybody there he's coming down my flank like there's no tomorrow um and breaks them absolutely bricking it right now i'm thinking yeah you've won mr roman that's it the trade agreement is all on you But I think the centre is his, but the flanks are more likely being uh, edging towards me here. We've got a couple of good flanks for this next turn, but he's powering through this. And it's such an enjoyable battle. I, I like back and forth battles, but I like battles where we are just going to be both mega stressed out. Um, but like I said, the main thing that I've come to uh, admire is the power of the Spanish impact troop. I might even go Spanish in a digital league because of it. And there we go. All to break. This is what we want. Disrupting. But the cavalry, unfortunately, do not belt through there because that unit doesn't thing. And there we go. Break. Bring to 18-18. And look, holding firm. Hold all holding firm here. This is the main thing with HRII. They are elite for... I don't think they're elite, but I think they are just majorly good there. And there's the break, but cavalry bearing down you'll see my mistake in a second <laughs> i just can't believe i did it oh you know when you get overzealous you're charging you, you feel the blood rush of battle you, you feel power through your fingertips like the emperor this is the mistake you're ready for it i'm thinking can i drop this unit in one turn i got cocky there you go there's the mistake you've seen it this is so 
30 minutes, 7 seconds. Oh, bugger. But that's the way the quick crumbles. Even the most experienced commander can make. And there we go. We've got another flank charge, which brings to fragmented. That is vaguely, much very important. A general gone. But I don't think anyone drops cohesion around them. But, oh, it's fragmented. It's a massively expensive unit. Any of them Chiriarii's are just pricey galore. So, you know, when you think about him dropping my units, I think he has to drop at least double to actually make a massive impact on here. So we are still edging away with a 2% here. Uh, but charging in there against the impact troops, getting absolutely massacred. And here we go against this in the um, Italian foot. Brilliant fragment. And you'll see why I get annoyed. <laughs> Because they just hold, because they don't want to go anywhere. And there we are, that light fight on the sun position, just uh, engaging away. So only one huge mistake so far in this game, I think. So that was unavoidable. What well, no, was avoidable, because the other things were unavoidable, because they was his mistakes, uh, my, uh, his attacks. But that cavalry there, I, mean, I just thought, why did I do it? Why did I charge in there? I thought they were going to break. So I charged there. Did I? No, and that guy can't. I don't understand why that cavalry couldn't move. And there you go. Trarii just holding like a boss. I think they do auto break, but wow, they just take hacking. But the Spanish, you get a disordered, uh, a couple of units of Spanish, they could do some damage. I'm, I'm a convert, really. And I think I chicken out here. I go, I'm not facing this combat in this turn. Yeah, there you go. I go, yeah, I just don't want to do it because it's brutal. Uh, the African Spearman auto break but the elephant stands tall the elephants the cavalry are just holding the backbone of the Carthaginian army here so the cavalry is pushing through I'm starting to get that advantage starting to push forward the cavalry certainly earning its points not that if it breaks a unit but if it disrupts one of the Roman units I have a side advantage there we go again with the impact and I think it's back home to Carthage awesome Greek island Elephant holding again. 8% towards the Romans. It's all of that impact. They get that impact phase. They go disrupted on the uh, the uh, things, the African Spearman just there. There's the flank on the African Spearman. Holding firm. Brilliant. Love it because I can impact them to death. There you go. That cavalry in the rear. Fragmented. Bugger. What an idiot, Richard. Idiot. Idiote. <sighs> Just charge forward in a stupid attack. I think I could have particularly avoided. Hold firm again. Here he goes. And evade. But now he's getting disordered by the elephant. So I didn't notice that either. That is particularly my uh, bad interpretation. They go break. And this is where the things start to go slightly better for us. Charles, I think they've gone so well so far. I think just to hold toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Roman faction is uh, particularly a difficult venture, especially with their basic bog sand troops. They go, TRR, how many points is that? Not very many points, but it brings that cavalry unit slap bang through that right side. Also, now this Roman unit breaking at this point. Yep, I don't break that Italian foot in the, in the left side of the screen. They disappear. Oh, it's... Very, very, very interesting here. I just like how back and forth this is because you know what? It's it's boring if one game. So here we go. We're thinking, oh, we can kill that Italian foot. There we go. This is the cavalry. I don't know where I charge. Do I? Yeah, I charge down here. I want to break these on the impact. We're not close enough there. So if we charge here, did we go further down? No. Yeah, we did go there. Yeah, because that's. Oh, did he break them? No, he didn't. We know that cavalry unit can think, oh, the imp you saw the impact to the Italian. I'm sure they do have impact the Italian foot, but still slightly annoyed there with that charge. Even, particularly even Stevens with the uh, thing. There we go, charge, break. This is where it goes. Brilliant. But that, that African Spearman unit is a bit deaded. We go turn, he has to charge there. But now he's got two key units, particularly facing the wrong way in the centre point here. So he's not being able to do anything with them. Italian foot just holding firm against the cavalry. My unit broken, but he's not got any decent flanks just yet. But he does charge in there. That's not a problem. 
and amazingly holding firm against that Chiara unit. But yeah, this cat, this elephant, oh, it just, oh, it's so indecisive. It's, it's painful. And then the Italian, uh, the uh, star type principles break that thing and disrupt the elephant with a general in it. But still, we are what three quarters in the way to the to the end. Still pretty solid. How many minutes are we actually? In thirty five out of forty eight. So we'll we'll talk through this last ten minutes because it makes sense. Because I I actually really enjoy because it, it always gets like really close here, and the and the rally is that I get as well. Even though I absolutely get salty when people rally all the time. So there goes to charge that cavalry down the flank attack on the elephant but it's not a flank attack because he's not engaged but it is still an impact phase victory and there he goes with his peelums there's the attack on there definitely a high poa advantage due to the hill arm and impact there he goes both charges both turns bounce it absolutely bounce it <laughs> mean it's mean i shall laugh but it's funny because <laughs> i like it when it happens to somebody else not myself it just gives me the utmost respect for the carpetinian forces and i i i so i just want to play them more because of the uh of the mixed bag of trash but also actually quite decent units there we go. Finally, the African Spearmen go. Lasted a lot longer than they should have, to be honest with you. But still, a very entertaining battle. Cavalry. My key point here is my cavalry is over. My cavalry is everywhere. Finally, the lights break in the in the southern sector here. Bloody cavalry hacking away, and finally break that bloody unit of Italian foot, which was sat there most of the game. So we got what down to twelve turns. We're halfway through the game, in particular here, in turn times. And it's just now him hoping not my, my elephants are in that massive set centre trying not to break. This is the main aspect of it. They're trying not to break in here. Um, so they are just literally the backbone. And everything else is just trying to flank them in some position. So here we go. First charge uh, in the rear of the Italian. Foot. This should, I think this really hurt them. And it did break them because it was a double drop as well. Uh, charging through, giving us that four percent victory there. So that's exactly what we wanted. And unfortunately, this 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 unit of um, Spanish is in particularly a bad is in a bad a bad place. It can't particularly do anything because it's got nowhere to go. Oh God, I've got to pause this, but never mind. Um, yeah, it's in a bad position where it can't physically charge anybody, and, and it needs to be in a position where it can. Lights falling back on that right side, particularly unused. I'm, I'm particularly playing inefficient with the lights. Could have played with better than in the mid game. And then it's a case of me just charging through, just trying to cut down any of the units that are there. And there we go against the disrupted Italian foot. But I think the Italian foot played fair in this game. I was very uh, happy with their with the, the my opponents uh, how he played them. There we go, fragmented push back. I like grouped units together. Grouped units together means if one of them drops, they're taking some cohesion checks. There we go against his general. You see, importantly here is the fact is. Uh, this unit here cannot be pushed back here, cannot be pushed back here. So it's buggery stuck. And that's not his fault. That's nothing to do with his tactic. He played perfectly fine. The fact is, um, the fact is he can't. It's just the way the enemy's fleeing behind it, which is a blocking force. And there we go. Unfortunately, in this southern sector, we are going to get uh, pretty annihilated. Oh. Elephant just holding. It's the two elephants just holding the line. Hannibal at the gates. So 40% all. Oh, it's getting close. I think I felt I've played well. Just even if I lost after this point, I'd be quite happy with my loss uh, because I felt I've, I've, I've bloodied Caesar in the face or Pompeius scum, uh, you know. So st still mildly happy. Uh, there we go again. He's gonna break. Oh, there he goes. Well, something magic happens. The jammy dodges. I'm gonna have to get a packet of uh, like celebrational jammy dodges elephant just greatly advantage but he's sitting still a 
Okay, so very scary here at the moment in time. Oh, it's like the it's like the troops that I just left. A lot of units have degraded. Uh, of course, he's degraded as well. And there goes the bloody Italian foothold has fragmented. His cavalry disrupted, which is good. The Italian fort are they going to break? Of course they're not. Of course they're not. They're there for life. But the unit there breaks, uh, and everybody else holds firm. That is the cavalry in the rear on the south position, which evaded, which I'm still worried about. 44% each. T this is why I've got to go over this battle word for word, because it was really, really back and forth. With the, and like I said, look at these. Are they rallied? <laughs> A rally for the elephant. So I'm sitting here. Do I go, do I go flanks or do I just turn? You see, the cavalry have given me slight mobility advantage here. That bloody Italian fort. Hold it again. Italian fort. The curse of the Italian fort. Amazingly, they hold firm. Did you get a theme here, ladies and gentlemen, of the saltiness of the Italian foot? And there we go. There's the cohesion check. This is what I wanted. This is because it was only because it was one space out. But I got pushed back like a like a bad person. There we go. Here's cavalry units there. I make a mistake here getting too close to this unit. I've got to say I should have stepped out the way, but they're javelin and they have to get closer. And I think we try and pursue any units because I'm afraid of them rallying up. So we do charge them to knock them down a couple of strength points. Cavalry again. Hold firm. Oh. Fragmented. What I want. What I want. So I'm sat here going, oh, we've got the cavalry advantage there. But end of the day, that's all we've got. And there we go. The elephant holding firm again. I think, you know what, beggar it. We'll go for the charge. Go, we'll, we'll, we've got to lose at this point, apart from the game. But we actually do quite well. And there we go. I'll try and come down to harass that elephant. But I'm blocked in here, unfortunately. And we, I think we also explode next turn with that cavalry unit. Particularly, like I said, playing very inefficient with my uh, light troops in this game. Concentrating more on the uh, elephant and cavalry stampede. But the cavalry just... Keeping him on tow. There's still quite a lot of expense. But, and a rally for the Italian fort. Shock horror. <laughs> Bloody troops rallying. There we go. Uh, kaboom. No more Numidian cavalrymen. I like Numidian cavalrymen. And there we go. Against the Elephanti. Old firm. I like elephants. There we go again. I'm trying now he's blocked all of zone of controls out. He's got good coverage on that center point now of what there you go, what he's trying to block. There we go again. Are they, are they gonna break the Italian foot? Of course not. They are immune to breaking Italian foot in this game. <laughs> and there's this cavalry unit. Is he coming up? And the elephant rallied. There's the cheese. Can't touch it. There we go. We've managed to slip through here for that flank to bring them down to fragmented. This is where the game turns, I think. Is he going to break the Italian foot? Oh, of course not. And there's the elephant. I nearly clicked the back button there, by the way, guys. Because <laughs> I was pressing buttons. I was like, oh, God, nearly clicked back. It would have broke. There we go. We're just trying to break that cavalry unit. I want it. That's good points there because now he's bloody blocked it with his Chiari. Oh, there we go. I'll go. Yep. Got to go around. Got a zippity doo dah, a zippity day around there. Go for the charge. Backed off, but. I've got to do what i got to do. I'm bringing these slingers to counter the cavalry, which is about to come down and kick bass. I'm too close here. Too close. And I paid for it because I thought, yeah, he won't. He, he's going to charge me. He's got nothing but to do to charge me. Mercenary Hoplites get an absolute... Uh, they are literally on the verge of exploding. The cavalry here is just keeping him honest. There's no reason for the cavalry to charge in against that unit of veterans. But the fact is they're going to sit there and go... Move out the way, show me your flanks, and we will charge. Good disruption there against the, the Histartai principles. 
Uh, and I've got nothing to do but sit there. So we're coming up to probably the last four minutes of the game um, where it does turn quite well. And there's the catch, and I'm like, you bugger. And he goes again. This is what scares me again, because he goes twice. There's the br This is the push. Evade, which is great. Elephant doing amazingly there. Moving that cavalry out of the way so I can't touch it. There's the fragmented. You can see what's coming up. It's building. He also, what I would like to point out is the fact is he turned the facing of the Italian foot here. So, uh, first of all, he was facing this way towards the cavalry, which means if I charged the cavalry, kept them engaged, I could flank. So he turned, so I can't do that. Points mean prizes. Points mean prizes. But that was a fantastic little thing. So this is where it goes. goes boom, boom, boom. Oh, that Italian foot. Can't believe they didn't break. Here we go. Yeah, this is where I questioned something rallying, which was a hoplite unit in the southern sector of the map that rallied. There we go. I got lucky with these rallies. Just ended like that. It just unfortunate there was like two or three bad combats for him, and then everything just went. Oh well, we're off back. Where are we going? Trying to break that cavalry down. Can't get it. So we think, oh bugger it. He's not going to change his facing. There we go. Fragmented because he dropped two levels of cohesion. Fifty-seven. What are we up to now? Forty-six. Oh god, we're nearly end of there. There's the charge, overcharge, but no flank. I think we break that unit there and it just breaks the game. There we go, 61. That was the break. So it took him that, that last turn. I think even not my anything rallying up. The only thing that probably would have affected that elephant didn't rally up in the combat. Uh, and I think that is like majority it, but that was pretty crap. I can't skip... I couldn't skip talking over it. This is the issue because it was all very interesting with the uh, into into uh, uh, infantry and uh, cavalry tactics. The Spanish did amazingly, better than I ever expected. Cool, Mister York. End this turn. Well played. Your cavalry was the difference, and of course, it, and the uh, I, st I stand by that. But my opponent blooded my nose. We'll just watch it till we get to that end little uh, montage. And there we go. Victorious. So we'll have a quick look here on what's happened. So as you can see, the hill was the definitive position. The elephants, the cavalry charging around, but even going around to this point in the top north position and back in again. Um, the baiting of them, a couple of units, but that was fantastic. Really enjoyed that battle. It was really difficult. A couple of good rallies at the later game pulled us back. But the cohesion drops. That Italian foot unit is still bloody there, isn't he? I, I thought I broke him, but he is actually still sitting there. Look. He, he should have dropped, but he didn't. That would have broke the game maybe one term earlier if he went. But I think a couple of key units there, but brilliant. I really enjoyed that battle. But remember... Remember, clicking that like, that subscribe button, and come and find us on YouTube or anywhere on the Slivering site is awesome. So have a great evening, folks. That was an amazing battle. And bye-bye.